Hey, -oh, guess who's back? It's your boy, Tom, with another Zagamnus Clarinus blog. So, I had this half baked research idea that I got from a friend and local beetle expert, Bob Gemmel. So, he suggested in order to get, uh, get him a specimen of a um, oak twig girdler or hickory twig girdler, or whatever the species is, that I, you know, put the thing in a jar and let it emerge. And I realized, you know, I could do that with Zagamnus. But I can't go and steal palmetto fronds from Botany Bay because it's uh, DNR WMA and they uh, greatly frown upon that. Also, the beach is closed because of Hurricane Matthew, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I do have a good second alternative location at Seabrook Island at Camp St. Christopher. I know the um, their head uh, ecologist. So I found a pretty good population over there, but I need to get back over there this month and actually try and hunt for some specimens. But in the meantime, I was pretty sure I had a population at my grandfather's house out in uh, Lilbrin. So I took a couple fronds out of the tree, ones that didn't have any emergence holes on them, because, you know, I, I was not 100% sure that all these emergence holes I was seeing were actually Zagamnus. And, it turns out, my half-baked idea worked. That right there is what I think is a male Zagamnus next to his emergence hole. That is a Zagamnus. He's dead, of course. This is June 14th, 2017. So, he could have emerged any time in the last three weeks. I just forgot to check and it didn't dawn on me until last week. These have been in here for like four months. So, that's great. Now I know I have a population on my own property, which is weird because we only have three palmettos. But, all of the palmettos have been there since at least the 70s, like early 70s. And one of those came from Seed, and the other two came from Botany Bay. So, either the species has been here the entire time, or more likely been translocated by landscape trees, which I think is a hell of a lot more likely than my ideas about them being naturally spread, because I got out to Pine Island recently, and there's absolutely no evidence of them there. And Pine Island is... Pretty damn close to Edisto Beach, where I've seen them. Hey, there's a weevil over there. But anyway, Pine Island is, you know, right across St. Helena Sound from Edisto Beach. And there is nothing out there as far as Agnes is concerned. Pretty much just saw flies. So I don't think they're actually as good at dispersal as I thought, but they are at my house. But then again, there are a lot of landscape trees all around the area, and I have found some Zagamnus at, uh, what is that place called? Uh, oh, Summit Plantation Drive on what I'm pretty sure are native trees. So they're in the North Edisto, which is strange considering, well, they're at Seabrook and they're at Botany Bay, but they're not at the far end of Botany Bay, which is across from Seabrook, which I find weird that they would be in Seabrook and not Botany Bay. So anyway, I'll have to get to my house and actually look for these buggers. He's on the ground now somewhere. But anyway, I want to give a little update. There he is. So yeah, the research is still ongoing. Make a progress. Uh, no word on a manuscript yet. Hey, bug. Alrighty, so it's the evening of June 17th, 2017. Just got off work. And I'm out here at my grandfather's house. And I finally got a chance to check the palmettos that I just collected that beetle from. So, as you can see, over the winter, I marked all of the previous emergence holes that 
I could find with black spray paint. And so far, I cannot find any emergence holes on any of these three trees. So, at least not on the um, daxial surfaces of the boots. So, I think I just hit the jackpot with that one beetle I got out of that cage. It's got a little pokeweed growing out of it up there. So, I guess I'll keep looking for the rest of the month. So, hopefully I can find a beetle here. But, this is where those boots came from. So, I technically own a population of Zagamnus, which I think is... Pretty cool, considering how isolated they are in the state geographically. Alright, well, that's it for today.